what was coming against you was cut off. The source of the fear, the source of the addiction, the source of the sickness. Now you may not see any manifestation for some time. There may not be any evidence that things have changed. And this is when many people get discouraged. But there will always be a period of time where it looks like God didn't do what He promised. The fear still comes. The medical report hasn't improved. The addiction looks just the same. But what's feeding those things has been cut off. It may seem like it's still alive, but the truth is, the fear is dead. The sickness is dead. The trouble at work is dead. Don't be discouraged because you don't see anything happening. It's just a matter of time. One day Jesus was leaving Bethany. He saw a fig tree off in the distance. He was hungry, so he went over to get something to eat. But the tree didn't have any figs. Jesus said to the tree, May no person ever eat fruit from you again. He cursed the tree. But when he said it, nothing on the outside looked any different. The tree was still just as full and healthy as before. I can hear the disciples begin to whisper, what happened? It didn't work. Did he lose his power? They had seen Jesus speak to a blind man and heal his eyes. They had heard him speak to the storm and calm the sea. But this time when Jesus spoke, nothing changed. There was no evidence that what he said had happened. The next morning, as the disciples were passing by, they saw the tree. The scripture said the tree had withered from the roots. When Jesus spoke to the tree, nothing happened on the outside, but on the inside. Down in the roots, the source was cut off. When the roots are dead, the tree is dead. It may still look alive, it may still have green leaves, still have wide branches, but it's just a matter of time before the outside catches up with the inside. And it may look like that sickness you're dealing with is still alive. That anxiety is just as bad as ever. The addiction just as strong. You pray, wonder why God won't do something. God did do something. The moment you pray, He cut off the source. That addiction may look like it's alive, but if you could see the roots, you would realize it's dead. It's just a matter of time before the outside catches up. That sickness may seem permanent, like you'll never get well. Have a new perspective. The roots have been cut off. Now don't be discouraged because it still has green leaves. You don't see anything changing. The psalmist said, the strength of the wicked is being cut off and the power of the godly is being increased. Everything that's trying to stop you, you need to see that power as being cut off. It may be hindering you now, but it's not permanent. It's not going to last. Why? It lost its source. Every day it's withering. Every day it's getting weaker. May look the same on the outside, but on the inside it's drying up. When Jesus spoke to the tree, there was no evidence that anything changed. Maybe you're believing for something, and you don't see any sign of things improving. You're speaking faith over your health, but the medical report's not getting better. You're praying for your child, but he's not getting back on track. If you just had some evidence, if you just saw a little sign, then you would believe. So this is what faith is all about. You can't be moved by what you don't see. You have to be moved by what you know. Father, I want to thank you that the moment I pray, you cut off the roots. I know this sickness is not permanent. Healing is coming. I know this addiction is not how my story ends. Freedom is coming. I know this depression doesn't have the final say. Father, I thank you that it's withering up. Some of the things that you're concerned about, God has already done. You haven't seen it yet, but in the unseen realm, things have changed. That anxiety you've been praying about, asking God to take it away, it's already been. That trouble at work, God has already cut off the source. Now do your part. Stay in faith until it manifests. Keep thanking God. 
Keep talking like you're free. Keep thinking like you're healthy. Keep living like you're victorious. I talked to a man that had struggled with an addiction for many years. He said, Joel, I asked God to help me, but nothing happened. He didn't see anything on the outside changing. Wasn't getting any easier, so he assumed that God wasn't doing anything. He lived with a mindset, I'm addicted, I'll never be free, it's too strong. He was waiting to see the manifestation before he believed God was working. But faith says you have to believe that when you pray, the miracle was set into motion. You can't wait to see the evidence and then you're going to believe. You have to believe first. You may not see any sign of it, but deep down you have to know the source of that addiction has been cut off. When you know the roots have been cursed, you'll have a different mindset. Instead of thinking maybe one day it will happen, you'll know it's just a matter of time. God has already spoken it. He's already cut off the source. Now all you have to do is walk it out. And I told him what I'm telling you. You may not see anything happening, but the moment you pray, God did something. Instead of thinking, one day I'll be free, try a new approach. Father, thank you that I am free. Thank you that this addiction is dead, that it doesn't control me, that you've already put an end to it. He started living with the attitude that it was already cut off. He kept thanking God he was free, talking like he was free. I saw him about six months later. He said, after 22 years of being addicted, today I am totally free. Are you waiting for the evidence to believe what God said about you? Are you talking yourself out of it because you don't see any sign? If you'll get in agreement with God, you'll see what He's done on the inside show up on the outside. The source of what He's trying to stop you has been cut off. Well, Joy, it seems like it's still alive. It seems like it's strong as ever. Don't be fooled by the outside. Victoria was in our backyard one time. We had these beautiful rose bushes. She's got some scissors and cut off one of the roses and brought it inside. The moment she cut it off, it was dead. It was separated from its source of life. What's interesting is it didn't look dead. It didn't look any different from the other roses that were still on the bush. It was still beautiful, still colorful, still smelled good. She put it in a vase. For a couple of weeks, it was right by our kitchen sink. Still looked beautiful, healthy, but the whole time it was dead. It was just a matter of time before it withered up. You may have things in your life like that rose. The sickness has already been cut off. The depression, the fear, the addiction. The moment you prayed, it died, but it still looks just the same. You don't feel any different. Nothing is changing. That's okay. That doesn't mean that it's still alive. Like that rose, at some point, it's going to wither. You're going to see what God promised you. Now the scripture says, don't faint in your mind. The first place we lose the battle is in our own thinking. Thoughts will tell you, nothing happened when you pray. You'll never get well. You'll never break the addiction. You've had it too long. Don't believe those lies. The roots have been cut off. It's just a matter of time before you see things change in your favor. We have some friends, every Easter, they send us a dozen rosebuds. They come in this large box. They have a long stem with the rosebud on the top. What's interesting is even though the rose is dead, even though it's been cut off from the bush, when you put that stem in water, the rose will bloom. It's dead, but it will still blossom. It has no life, but it will still get bigger, increase, and expand. There are times when even though God has cut something off, it will get bigger. Even though he cut off the trouble, it will blossom. You'll be tempted to think, Joel, this sickness isn't dead, it's getting worse. 
to say anxiety is not dead, it's increasing instead of decreasing. You no, know, stay in faith. It may bloom, it may blossom, but it's still dead. All through the day, Father, thank you that the source of this trouble has been cut off. Thank you that you have cursed the root of this fear. Thank you that you said this sickness has to go. So, Lord, I'm going to stay in agreement with you. I know it's just a matter of time before it withers up. When we were trying to acquire this building, the former compact center, we had all kinds of opposition. But after two years, we finally got enough city council members to be for us, and we won the vote. We were so excited. We knew that God gave us the building. But three days later, a company that owned most of the property around the facility filed a federal lawsuit to try to keep us from moving in. I thought the opposition was over, but it was just beginning. We had this huge company coming against us. They were the largest taxpayer in Texas, a big real estate company. I was tempted to think, God, what are we going to do? They have more resources. They have more influence. But I did what I'm asking you to do. I said, Father, I want to thank you that the source of those coming against us has been cut off. They may be bigger, stronger, but God, I know you being for us is more than the world being against us. Like that rosebud that blooms even though it's dead. Don't be surprised if opposition blossoms against you. Adversity blooms. Giants try to stop you. It looks like they have the upper hand. No, stay in peace. Their source has been cut off. It is not permanent. It is just a matter of time before you see the hand of God. All the odds were against 